Sources of Conciliation Introduction Alternative Dispute Resolution, ADR, has emerged as a transformative approach to resolving conflicts outside the courtroom, offering parties a more collaborative and flexible process. Within the spectrum of ADR, conciliation plays a pivotal role in facilitating negotiations and achieving amicable resolutions. This comprehensive note explores the nuanced role of a conciliator in ADR proceedings, analyzing the skills, techniques, and ethical considerations that define their practice. Through illustrative examples, we will delve into real-world scenarios that highlight the conciliator's ability to navigate complex disputes, build consensus, and foster enduring resolutions. The conciliator's role in ADR proceedings. 1. Government Conciliation Services One prominent source of conciliation is the establishment of government-sponsored conciliation services. Governments often recognize the importance of resolving disputes efficiently to maintain social order and promote economic stability. Governmental bodies often establish specialized agencies to offer conciliation services, aiming to prevent and resolve disputes within their jurisdiction. One exemplary case is the Australian Fair Work Commission, FWC, which provides mediation and conciliation services to address workplace disputes. The FWC assists parties in reaching mutually agreeable solutions, avoiding the need for costly and time-consuming legal proceedings. Examples One notable example is the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, EEOC, in the United States, which provides conciliation services to address workplace discrimination claims. The EEOC works to mediate disputes between employers and employees, fostering cooperation and resolving issues without resorting to litigation. 2. Non-governmental organizations, 10 GOs. Non-governmental organizations, NGOs, also contribute significantly to the field of conciliation. These organizations, driven by a commitment to social justice and conflict resolution, often specialize in specific areas such as human rights, environmental disputes, or community conflicts. NGOs play a crucial role in providing access to justice for marginalized groups and individuals who may not have the resources to engage in formal legal proceedings. The Center for Humanitarian Dialogue, HD, for instance, operates globally to mediate intractable conflicts and facilitate dialogue between conflicting parties. Examples The Center for Humanitarian Dialogue, HD Center, is an international NGO that focuses on mediation and dialogue in conflict zones. Operating globally, it has been instrumental in facilitating peace processes in various regions demonstrating the vital role NGOs can play in conciliation efforts. 3. Professional Mediation and Conciliation Firms Professional mediation and conciliation firms are private entities dedicated to providing dispute resolution services. These firms employ trained and certified mediators and conciliators who facilitate communication between parties and guide them toward mutually beneficial resolutions. Unlike government services, these firms operate independently and are often hired by parties involved in disputes. Examples JAMS, Judicial Arbitration and Mediation Services, is a well-known private mediation and arbitration provider in the legal industry. With a roster of experienced neutrals, JAMS assists parties in resolving complex disputes across various sectors highlighting the effectiveness of professional mediation firms in addressing diverse conflicts. 4. Court Annexed Conciliation Legal systems globally recognize the advantages of integrating conciliation into court processes. The Singapore Mediation Center, SMC, provides an excellent model by offering court annexed mediation services. By encouraging parties to engage in mediation before reaching the trial stage, Court annexed conciliation expedites the resolution process and often results in more amicable settlements, 
showcasing the synergy between legal frameworks and alternative dispute resolution methods. Example. SMC's contribution to the resolution of family disputes in Singapore's legal system highlights the successful integration of court annexed conciliation. 5. Online conciliation platforms. The digital era has ushered in innovative solutions for conflict resolution through online platforms. Modria, a leading online dispute resolution platform, facilitates remote engagement in the conciliation process. These platforms provide accessible and convenient avenues for parties to resolve disputes, overcoming geographical constraints. The flexibility and efficiency offered by online conciliation platforms present a modern and technologically driven approach to conflict resolution. Example The success of Modria in resolving e commerce disputes, providing a swift and accessible resolution process for parties involved illustrates the potential of online conciliation platforms. 6. Community leaders and elders. At the grassroots level, communities often turn to trusted leaders and elders to mediate disputes. In various African societies, tribal elders convene to resolve conflicts, drawing upon cultural wisdom and experience. These community leaders play a vital role in maintaining cohesion addressing disputes ranging from interpersonal conflicts to issues of resource allocation. Their localized approach emphasizes the importance of cultural context in the conciliation process. Example The role of tribal elders in mediating land disputes in certain African communities, relying on traditional norms and customs, showcases the efficacy of community-based conciliation. 7. Identifying and managing power dynamics. Power imbalances can be a significant obstacle to resolution. A conciliator must be attuned to these dynamics, ensuring that all parties have an equal opportunity to participate in the process. Techniques such as caucusing, private meetings with each party, and active balancing of power dynamics contribute to a fair and equitable resolution. Example. In a workplace dispute where an employee alleges discrimination by a supervisor, the conciliator recognizes the power imbalance. Through skillful interventions, they ensure that the employee's concerns are heard, and the negotiation process addresses the power dynamics to achieve a fair outcome. 8. Creative Problem Solving Conciliators are adept at fostering creative problem-solving to move beyond rigid positions and find mutually acceptable solutions. By reframing issues and encouraging parties to explore innovative alternatives, the conciliator helps break impasses and ensures that the final agreement meets the unique needs and interests of the parties involved. Example In a construction dispute where timelines have been disrupted, the conciliator encourages parties to consider alternative project schedules and phase delivery. This creative approach, rather than a fixed financial penalty, allows both parties to salvage the project and maintain a working relationship. 9. Confidentiality and Neutrality The conciliator's commitment to confidentiality is vital, ensuring that parties feel secure in disclosing sensitive information. Simultaneously, the conciliator must balance this commitment with the need to maintain neutrality. Striking the right balance is essential to building trust and credibility with the parties involved. Example In a workplace harassment case, the conciliator learns of potentially illegal activities. Balancing the duty to maintain confidentiality with legal obligations they navigate a path that preserves the privacy of the mediation process while ensuring that necessary legal steps are taken. 10. Power imbalances and fairness. Addressing power imbalances requires skillful navigation. The conciliator must actively manage situations where one party may have more influence, resources, or bargaining power. Ensuring fairness and equal participation is a delicate yet critical aspect of the conciliator's role. Example In a landlord-tenant dispute, the landlord may hold significant power due to control over housing. 
the conciliator takes steps to ensure the tenant feels empowered to voice concerns, creating a fair negotiation process that leads to a balanced resolution. Conclusion As we peer into the future of alternative dispute resolution, the role of the conciliator stands tall as a beacon of collaboration and resolution. In a world where conflicts are diverse and dynamic, the conciliator's ability to navigate complexities, foster communication, and drive creative solutions positions them at the forefront of dispute resolution mechanisms. The challenges and ethical considerations inherent in conciliation underscore the need for continuous professional development and a commitment to the highest standards of practice. As technological advancements continue to reshape how we engage in dispute resolution, conciliators must remain adaptive, harnessing the benefits of innovation while safeguarding the core principles of neutrality, fairness, and confidentiality.